Hey everybody, all right guys, so this is going to be for our Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, so feel free to swap the rules guys if you need to. It is a general reading, it's not going to be everybody's story every single time, but we are kind of, you know, bridging off a little bit of the um, once in a blue moon. So I did those readings a few months ago, and then of course, obviously we have the once in a blue moon coming up, and we won't have another one until 2027. So this is really about that three of wands is negotiation sometimes, but planning for the future. So you're in this space now, or maybe someone else, you know, is kind of contemplating. It's like waiting for the ships to come in. But if there is, where do you want to work? Where do you want to live? You know, obviously travel could be a thing if it's just going on vacation. But I do feel like there is like, again, a waiting period. And negotiations can be with self or someone else. But there's something that feels disappointing. Maybe something didn't work or somebody, you know, did or said something that, you know, again, kind of like, again, there was like cause and effect in a way of like consequences. It's like if there were overindulgences of something, you know, somebody again might have went in a space and, you know, kind of, again, had some experience and obviously maybe it wasn't as satisfying. And so it's like coming to the space of, okay, where to go from here? And I just feel like there's something that feels like a responsibility, an obligation, or a burden, which could very well just be responsibilities of life. But it's overwhelming. It's like too much to, you know, for just one person to take care of, you know. So it's like putting it down if it's no longer your burden to carry or if there's anything else going on. Maybe another person is carrying the weight of the world around on their shoulders right now. But it is getting to the end of that situation. And the Hierophant is about commitment. Marriage sometimes, you know, this is definitely about connecting with like-minded people. And so there could be confessions, you know, definitely. Um, I think that in many cases, I look at this, you know, whether it's the organization or one other person or even a group, you know, and again, true or not, you know, a lot of times people tend to believe in the same similar things, you know, when you friends or family, you know, kind of get together. So it's kind of, again, connecting with those people that share the same values. It's very traditional in that way. But the magician is coming through as creation. And this has a lot to do with, you know, manifesting the things that you desire, if it's resources or time or information. And it is the idea first, but also it's kind of like um, the actions that might be required in some cases here as well. And if there are choices and somebody's waiting for word or waiting for someone else to make their choice, you know, this definitely is where it can be sometimes stressful. But it's like waiting for that right time, that opportunity. But it's almost like there's an opposing factor. And so if anybody's pretending that there is no issue, if there's, you know, again, could be someone that you're dealing with, brushing something under the rug even. But it's like somebody in denial or denying something. This is kind of like at a truce. But I do think that it is sometimes a stressful, maybe even a painful decision. And there could be, you know, like where did, you know, for example, certain resources are needed, like money, time, energy. If somebody's been going out in excess, you know, you might question, okay, where did the money go? Or if there was somebody that is spending, you know, again, one way or the other or needs to, you know, this is kind of like new phase stage or development about laying a foundation. But if something new is being presented, is it enough? You know, obviously, if it's a job, you might negotiate on that. If it's a relationship, you know, obviously what one brings to the table versus another. So there could be, again, not being too frivolous, not being too cautious, but knowing your worth and value, what you bring to the table and where you spend your time, energy, money is very important as well. And what you're spending it on, you know, obviously to sell for other things, you know, this is, again, based on a value system, but it is in the challenge, you know, so I do feel like, there is actions that would be required, but sometimes there's a strategy or there might be, again, some dramatic reaction from others or somebody that is not able to take, you know, like an action or follow through even, you know, because kind of the king of wands and the reverse is almost like even how a person feels, you know, but based on what you know or what you have to deal with, sometimes you have to have very firm boundaries and you have to say, you know, whether or not you want to commit to some situation or not. So I kind of get the impression that there could be a scenario here, you know, where it's, you know, again, some non-action, but that might be, you know, where actions may be needed in some cases, but sometimes the strategy is to wait and watch. And, you know, I do feel there's a lot of waiting going on, but I also feel like, you know, there could be a lot of um, maybe misunderstandings or even harsh criticism. So some type of a truth that needs to be revealed or hasn't yet been revealed and maybe somebody's afraid to say or speak up or, you know, but I do see if there's anything that needs to be kind of kept private. Yeah, I mean, obviously, until you can make your announcement, make something official, 
obviously you have success coming in here and moving on and moving up. This could be promotions, you know, for that matter. And again, someone might have a dramatic reaction or something to say about that. Um, you might get that, you know, again, relationship going to the next level or something. But I feel overall you have some, you know, well-wishers, but there's always one or two in the bunch. But I do feel like, you know, people in general, good or bad, you know, whether or not people are saying or not, I do feel like, you know, the Queen of Cups is very nurturing. It's very supporting and so intuitive also. And so it could be a person to you. It might be how you're behaving in some ways. You know, obviously it's go with the flow, easy to get along with, you know, but there is a tower energy in the reverse and it's kind of like avoiding a disaster. But there could also be somebody resisting the changes if there's the needed change on anything, you know, so it's kind of like there's an avoidance of, you know, I think in many ways avoiding a loss, you know, could be, you know, very powerful. If you know in advance, you know, you can avoid, you know, especially when choices are, you know, being made, but there might be a juggling energy. So somebody could be juggling too much, two jobs or the choice itself, or, you know, what goes in, what comes out, work life. Um, there could be an exchange of monies going back and forth, you know, so if there's any imbalances there, and so I definitely feel that, you know, get something in writing, you know, obviously, because like it's, you know, one person's word against another in some cases. If there's, you know, big decisions, life altering, you know, or anything, you know, where it's like kind of like disharmony, you know, obviously when I look at the lovers, it's some type of dynamic in most cases, but single versus committed, if you're looking at it in that way of a dynamic, this is kind of like maybe single and available, but it could also represent divorces or, you know, trust issues and some conflict, you know, obviously maybe just a disagreement, but, you know, you start to ask, you know, if there's been any lack of accountability, but I kind of feel like there is going to be potential for abundance here. And this does bring in a new beginning in a, maybe a financial way, a new job, a new business, new investment, you know, it brings security and stability. But I also feel like moving on, moving forward from here, there's a lot of forward momentum. So if anybody hasn't yet made the choice to make a move or, you know, maybe it's just travel, but it definitely comes with a victory. So overcoming an obstacle, you know, determination and willpower, a lot of self-control and self-discipline, hard work and focus. So I feel like somebody could be rebuilding, you know, if they've been through some disruptions in their life. And, you know, of course, it takes time in that case, too. But, you know, it's like ending of that, you know, whole situation. Change beckons. So the path is shifting. The road leads to a new way. So don't be alarmed as change beckons today. So if anybody's going through, you know, kind of like these squares and that tower, it puts pressure on things that can or, you know, maybe not, you know, with withstanding like again, I kind of look at squares like a tower in a way. It's like these are the things that need to change and it puts pressure on stuff, you know, and anything deeply rooted obviously is going to stick around and anything that maybe needs to change is going to change. But we also have coming in the walkabout and it's about discovering your path in a sacred walkabout. The trees are your people, the earth is your tribe and indigenous lessons, you find the will to survive. And again, could be another person as well. But it's interesting because on this tower, it says surrendering to the storm because force can and will create resistance. And no matter what, in love or life, you know, it's about what's in alignment for you versus not. It's about making healthy choices. And that's going to lead you even sometimes to love of what you love to do. So bless the space. You know, your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santos or Sage can clear the air. But, you know, however you like to bless your space, it doesn't matter if it's your vehicle that you, you know, again, come and go forth in or if it's your home, your office you know, and maybe you just say a prayer over it, you know, and it's kind of, you know, even at the end of the day, I think it's important. So forgive and forget a ritual cleansing of pain and lies and arise and awaken and see a new sunrise. So if there's been anybody who's not been accountable or has been dishonest or there's been disagreements, you know, I do feel like the, you know, forgiveness is just allowing someone to move forward from here, either with or without someone. But I definitely think Three of Cups is celebratory. It's kind of to say that there could be, um, you know, getting together with friends. So a toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups and happiness. Three cheers are done. Celebration is near. Beautiful. And then sunset comes in. And a time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sunlight burns. This to me feels like the end of the day. You know, obviously the end of a chapter, the end of something. But it's leading you to this new space. And there is no obstacle that's going to stop you now. So if that means anything to you, you know, you're going to have a victory in whatever you're going through. So you're once in a blue moon, whatever you've been wishing for, even if you're keeping it private until you can make it official, 
you know, I just feel like if somebody's ever said anything to make a person feel one way or the other, you know, because, you know, people say stuff all the time. It gets in the head, you know, so don't let that impact you. But I feel like at this particular time, it's about committing to the things and people and, you know, maybe people of like mine, like your friends and just get together. And, you know, if there's just having a few drinks or dinner or whatever, cup of coffee doesn't mean it has to be, you know, something special, but it is special at the same sense. You know, it's just kind of very casual is what it feels like. You guys, good luck with this. Please do take care and we'll catch up real soon. Bye-bye.